Okay, so that's the income side. Now we're going to go to the asset side. Okay, with regard to assets, there's a few things that have to be considered. The first thing with regard to the assets is that they are seasoned. Seasoned assets are those funds that are kept in the bank account on a consistent basis. Some lenders require that the seasoned funds are in your account, your personal bank account, for 90, up to 90 days. Usually it's 60 to 90 days most lenders require. <clears throat> so, so if the loan is 417000 or less, then the requirements for the PIPI are six to nine months, all right? So we're, if we're saying that your, your payment is $1,200, the PIPI is $1,200, then six months of the PITI would be $7,200 that would have to be in your personal bank account. If your loan is greater, if you have a loan greater than $417,000, usually it's 9 to 12 months of PI that has to be in your personal bank account. Okay? When you have a business owner and the business owner owns 100% of the business, then he can get a CTA letter. And that CTA letter would have to say that there would be no negative effect by taking out the funds from the bank account, from the business bank account, uh, and then those funds could be used, utilized towards your reserve requirement. Let's see, what else goes on with reserve requirements? The way they find out about the reserve requirements is, is through your bank account. Standardly, it's required that you have your last three months bank statements provided, all pages. All now, you, sometimes people give me the first page, you know, but no, we need all pages showing the the, uh, the deposits, showing the the uh, debits, showing the credits, showing the balances, and because they check everything. Um, so. All deposits are reviewed, and when those deposits are reviewed and there is a large sum that's larger than your standard uh, deposits, then they're going to have you verify that. They're going to have you verify the source of, of that uh, deposit. And what they're looking for is they're looking to find out that you haven't been given a gift by someone to be able then to meet the reserve requirement parameters. Let's see what else happens. With reserve requirements, the on these excuse me, on jumbo loans, the reserve requirements are a little bit more strict and it requires a second signature at most lenders. So that so a good paper trail is always necessary to have when Review when, when given an explanation as to where the source of funds have, or and reserve requirements, have come from.